Y'all know this offseason, I've been wanting Ravens to get guys who are like that, especially when it comes to the wide receiver position. I've been wanting them to add somebody who's established, not old, but established, still in their prime and a proven guy to go along to all the guys that we already have. But the Ravens this offseason, they've continued to go the opposite direction when it's come to that because they traded away their most proven guy in Hollywood Brown and the Ravens seem to be this season banking on potential when it comes to the wide receiver position. We'll see if that continues. If it does, cool. If it doesn't, cool. We just got to wait and see. But a name that has been buzzing, buzzing like crazy throughout OTAs and throughout minicamp has not been somebody who's like that, but somebody who's like Lee. And that would be tight end Isaiah, Isaiah Likely. We have continued to hear his name go crazy coming from the Ravens and even coming from different players on the squad. Uh, you heard it from Tony Jefferson. You heard it from Lamar Jackson himself. And see, that's the thing with Lamar Jackson. He is a very team guy. He's a very uh, big camaraderie guy. Hey, big ups to everybody. But he doesn't always call out people specifically. Now, he was asked a question by the reporter, but he gave high praise to Isaiah Likely. Tony Jefferson did too. John Harbaugh did as well. Um, and that was in OTAs and that continued through mini camp. And let's hope it continues through training camp. And then, of course, in the regular season as well. But with Isaiah Likely, he's a tricky one. And the reason I say that is because could the Ravens all this time, especially me, I've been wanting them to really add a receiver like that, a, a big frame receiver who got some good speed, got good hands. Could they already have that on the team? Could they actually have Isaiah Likely be that guy? See, that, and, and that's, it's, it's exciting to think about. It's really exciting to think about. You, you think about, okay, he is taller, he, he's physical, and he is a tight end. But when you watch film on him, you see this guy line up everywhere. He's not just your average tight end lining up next to the, line, the, the offensive line just sitting there blocking. No, mm -mm. nope. That's not him. He's somebody that you have to move around. You have to get involved because he can stretch the field. And as a tight end, that's a beautiful thing. But as a wide receiver, it's a beautiful thing as well. And with his frame, could he be that other outside receiver that the Ravens are looking for? It seems likely that he could be. A lot of weight to put on his shoulders. He's a rookie now. But there's one thing. One thing that I've been thinking about, because I've been seeing everybody hyped about Isaiah Likely, and I love it. I, I, I love it. I will never tell you to get off the hype train for a player. Because, again, the way I look at it, because I know there'll be some people like, oh, man, they're just running around in shorts. They ain't even got on pads. And that's true. But at the same time, that's where things start. If he was in shorts and it wasn't looking good, then they'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Oof, okay. So, man, man, imagine when they put the pads on. Uh, but the fact that he is looking good in shorts is like, oh, okay, good. That's a good start. And I, I liken it to when there are these players uh, in college and they, they play against these small schools. And people are like, oh, man, that guy, he ain't really that good. He was just going up against small schools. He ain't really going to be like that. But then I think, OK, well, let's see what he does. But at the same time, if he was struggling and doing bad against the small schools, then that would be a problem. But the fact that he was doing good against them, that that bodes well for him in the future. And that should set him up uh, and put him in a better place and position for success moving forward. But anyway, with Isaiah Likely, um, he is a very exciting player to think about. But the one thing that is my biggest concern when it comes to him, it's not if he can stretch the field. It's not that he couldn't be a receiver. It's not that he can't catch. It's not that he doesn't have a good amount of speed. It's none of those things. My biggest concern 
isn't even Isaiah likely himself, but it's how will he be used in Ravens offense? Because we've continued to see it time and time again to where we see well, Ravens will draft somebody and we'll be like, oh, oh, that, oh, that's what they did in college. Oh, I like it. Oh, James Prochet. Oh, he oh, he was snatching the ball out of the out of the air like that. A lot of jump balls. And he's so short, but he go up and get it. Wow. Look at James Prochet. Aggressive. Oh, Devin Duvernay. Oh, you saw him in Texas catching all them little screen passes and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, then he took it to the distance. Oh, wow. Oh, they, they gave him passes in open space and then he did the work. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Let's go, Duve. But then they get to the pros and you just don't see that. Oh, Miles Boykin, big 6'4", six, 6'5", six, receiver. They throw him a lot of jump balls. Wow, they gave him the one-on-one -on -one situations and they took advantage of it. Oh, let's go. What happened to it? What happened to it? So that's a big concern for me. How will they use Isaiah likely? Because we've seen it. Time and time again, we've seen it. Now, I know that's where some people may say, but engraving, hey, this is why it's no point in the Ravens getting an established prime wide receiver that you keep talking about. That's the reason that why they shouldn't get one, because they wouldn't use them the right way. But now my counter to that, the Ravens would actually be forced to, because if they're getting somebody in their prime, they're getting a significant wide receiver. That means they gave up significant funds to acquire him, whether that be salary cap, whether that be draft picks. So if they're not using him, ooh, somebody's going to get it. Somebody's going to get it. But anyway, when it comes to Isaiah Likely, that's a big fear that I have. Now, something that helps that fear uh, when it comes to him, something that helps that fear when it comes to the other guys, too, like a Rashad Bateman, like a Tylen Wallace, a James Prochet, a Devin DuVernay, something that really provides a lot of comfort, not only for me, but for a lot of us are T and K. <laughs> and that's T Martin and Keith Williams, because that was a move that I remember when the Ravens made it. I loved it. Because it had been exactly what I had been asking for, for a long time. And the Ravens had finally made that move because I, I had been saying it over and over. I just, I wanted the Ravens to get some young, offensive-minded coaches in the building. Some coaches that could relate to the players on another level. Because when you can relate to somebody on another level then that just makes the relationship that much deeper and y'all can understand each other that much more. They went and they did that and they got T. Martin and Keith Williams. And these guys, their resumes spoke for themselves. And when you watched the impact last year that they had on this room, it was a beautiful thing. We didn't get to see it in full because injuries derailed a lot with last season. We didn't get to see it completely, but we certainly saw a lot of it. Um, we, we saw a rookie Ravens, and that, that's, that was the, one of the craziest parts about last year with Rashad Bateman. One of the craziest parts about him last year was the fact that this guy, he was in OTAs, minicamp, all that good stuff, but he's in training camp. That's when everybody started getting hurt and whatnot. But so he missed the first, like, what, five, six games. But then when he came back, instant chemistry with his quarterback. Instantly. Like that, immediately. And I will never forget that first game. And I had told y'all, I'm like, man, Rashad Bateman, uh, his first NFL game. Um, yeah, he'll probably play like limited amount of snaps. If we got to put a percentage on it, maybe like 50, 60, something like that. No, he was out there that whole game. He was out there that whole game and Lamar was getting him that ball and he was getting him first downs. Immediately. Immediate <laughs> impact right away. We saw an improved Hollywood Brown. 
Hollywood Brown just has stepped up in his route running. He, he was open a lot of last year. He was open so much. There was some overthrows. There was some underthrows. And there was everything in between. Of course, there, there were the drops as well. Uh, so that didn't help. But Hollywood Brown was open a lot. I felt like we saw him take another step forward as a wide receiver. Now, there, there were some missed opportunities. Um, but his season could have been even better than it was last year. Um, but he took a step forward, too. So when we watch stuff like that, um, it, it, it gives us hope for these guys that are coming up. And my thing with Isaiah Likely, uh, it's exciting just, again, thinking about all the possibilities with an Isaiah Likely. It's super exciting. Uh, but my thing is I just hope that, and this was from Jump. We said this from Jump. I just hope that T. Martin and Keith Williams, their voice, I hope that their voice is really heard by the Ravens coaching staff. Like, it's really heard. Of course, Greg Roman is the offensive coordinator. John Harbaugh is the head coach. John Harbaugh, is the, he's the big baller shot caller. He is the, the one that's, that's running it, that's calling all the shots. We, of course, know he lets his offensive coordinators coordinate. He lets his defensive coordinators do their thing, too. He don't really step in too much. But... He is the one that makes the final decisions. He is the one that gives the okay. He'll override some, whatever it may be. So I, I just really hope, because we know that those guys are certainly respected. They are definitely respected. But I just hope that the Ravens give those guys the respect and really give them the voice and give them some power too. It seems as if it's, it's trending that way. Like they begin more and more power. It's of course, because this will be what their second year with the team. So they'll be more familiar with Greg Roman and all the other coaches and stuff. Greg Roman and all the other coaches will be more familiar with them. So that should bode well for them moving forward. Now they have a year under their belt to, so they can see how the Ravens work, how the Ravens operate, how the Ravens move. And the Ravens have a year under the belt so they can see how T. Martin and Keith Williams operate, how they move. So it's just another year to get familiar with each other, uh, but to provide and promote more opportunities for those two guys. So with Isaiah Likely, I, I just hope that with him, when it comes to him, and not just him, but really everybody, um, I just hope that they use his strengths. They play him to his strengths. They put him in positions to where his strengths are used. And again, this is not just for Isaiah Likely. This is for a Rashad Bateman. This is for a Tylen Wilder. This is for a Devin Duvernay. This is for a James Prochet. Then this is for whatever other receivers, tight ends, pass catchers, the Ravens use. We know, <laughs> we know what Mark Andrews, we ain't even got to worry about it. We ain't got to worry about nothing. We don't. Um, cause we know that they're gonna, they're gonna play him to his strength. I mean, his strength is just really all over the field. They can, you can line him up anywhere. And you know, Lamar, Lamar gonna look for him first over everybody. Lamar gonna look for him first and he gonna get his opportunities for sure. Um, and again, it's not all on coaching either. It's on Lamar too. It's on Lamar too. It's on him to get those guys, the ball, give different guys opportunity. Of course, he's, he's been building that. That rapport with Bateman and, and Prochet, Benjamin Victor too, um, and, and then of course he he came through for the, uh, the the mini camp. So the rapport with all the other guys too that will continue to be built as well. So that's a beautiful thing. And then come training camp, that's when y'all really go in because all the, all the stuff before mini camp and OTA, that's like ah, okay, cool, whatever. But training camp is when it really starts. That's when it really really starts. And then Lamar did mention. John Harbaugh also mentioned, I think even James Urban talked about it too, but um, they did say Lamar and the receivers, they're going to be coming down here to Florida to get together. I mean, what, what better place for all the receivers to get together? Maybe I, I need to go out there and catch some passes too. I could, I may, maybe they give me a little trial. Maybe they slip a little note to John Harbaugh. Be like, hey, let, let them try out. So I, I could be a regular little fullback. I could be, I could maybe be offensive. I'm, not, I'm too short to be offensive line. But I, I could do something though. Ravens need me to do something. I got you. I, I got you. But anyway, um, so with Lamar coming down to Florida with all the rest of the guys, that should be good. And, and just another way to just build chemistry and get better. Use every day to get better. 
of course they they got to enjoy their vacation now too because they they got some time off they got to enjoy themselves take a break from all the football stuff because don't nobody want to be on football 24 7 don't nobody want to be thinking about football no 24 7 they don't so we all all need breaks from football it's okay and they deserve breaks from football it's okay if you see them on social media, like Lamar, like last night, he was riding around in the city in the middle of the ocean. He was on a boat that had a swimming pool in it. They were chilling, just recording, vibing, relaxing. And that's what they deserve to do, all of them. Every single player on every single roster, they deserve that relaxation time. They deserve time off from the game where they can take a breather, chill, and unwind. Because that's the best, because everybody needs that. So if you see them on social media, some and they eating a meal, they laughing, they playing a video game, let them, let them enjoy themselves. It is okay. It's all right. So anyway, Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope that all this excitement that we have for Isaiah Likely, that it turns into something real. The promise is there. The potential is there. But it's a matter of the Ravens really tapping that potential. So hopefully they, they bring it out of them. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And we out.